Hi, my name is Jeremy Arbusfeld, and I am a graduate student in the Wagner Lab at The Ohio State University and Nationwide Children's Hospital. Today, I'll be presenting on Fuser and the VIC Fusion Creation Interface, a collection of tools that allow for the standardized representation of gene fusions in both clinical reports and genomic knowledge bases. To provide some background, this work has emerged as a collaboration between experts from the Variant Interpretation for Cancer Consortium, or VIC, the Cancer Genomics Consortium, CGC, and the CAP-ACMG Joint Cytogenetics Committee. Through biweekly meetings, the group developed a consensus unified framework for the description of fusion events, paving the way for the development of a set of associated computational tools that allowed for this framework to be realized in both clinical practice and genomics research. Here you can see a figure describing features underlying the Fuser class, a novel data structure whose features were informed by the framework that I previously described. In the interest of time, I won't go over the figure in great detail, but an important takeaway to consider is that Fuser allows for the representation of both assay fusions and categorical fusions as well. For those who are unfamiliar with the concept of categorical fusions, this term essentially describes fusions with shared characteristics, such as N-track fusions. By covering both classes of fusions, the Fuser class allows for fusions to be represented both in the clinical and research-based contexts, respectively. Additionally, Fuser covers both the structural and regulatory elements that comprise fusion events, as you can see on the slide. These structural elements include the gene symbol and associated HGNC ID, transcript ID, and data describing a linker sequence, if present. The regulatory elements and the context of categorical fusions include the class, such as the functional domain, the ID, and genomic location. Although the use case of certain elements is specific to the type of fusion that is being understood, Fuser is again able to model a wide range of fusion events. Here is an example of an EWSR1 assay fusion with an unknown partner represented using the Fuser class. As you can see, in describing fusion partners, Fuser resolves ambiguous gene aliases through normalization and records other relevant metadata, such as the cause of event and information regarding the molecular assay that provide important context needed for accurate clinical interpretation. Fuser objects can be created by supplying the relevant data to classes within the wider Fuser class. For example, if a tumor sample is sequenced and then processed through a fusion detection pipeline, output of data can include identification of the involved fusion partners, chromosome number, strand, and breakpoints. Then, this data could be supplied to structural elements of the assay fusion class, which is a method within the broader Fuser class, allowing for the fusion event to be described and better understood. Uh, for the image on the slide, I should note this is only an individual example of a Fuser use case, and that more examples can be found in the project's GitHub repository. Here is an example use case for the VIC fusion creation interface, depicting the representation of a TPM3 and track one fusion event. This interface leverages the Fuser class, allowing users to convert, to convert fusion event observations to a format that is consistent with the framework that I previously described on an earlier slide, um, as you can see with the arrows below. Users can then follow the various tabs on the top to add features as necessary, and the summary tab reports the fusion in accordance with the guidelines that I previously described. This output can also be converted to a JSON machine-readable format, allowing for information describing the fusion um, to be directly accessed by the user. Having introduced Fusor in the VIC Fusion Creation Interface, I would like to briefly mention some, some additional work that we have planned for the future. First, as this is an open source, community-centered effort, we plan to refine these tools to reflect community needs and feedback through our bi meetings. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, we plan to integrate Fuser into our own fusion detection pipeline to promote more efficient and accurate clinical interpretation of fusion events. Lastly, we plan to integrate Fuser into knowledge bases such as MediKB to allow for a better understanding of fusion classes with shared characteristics. This concludes my presentation. I'd like to thank everyone in the Wagner Lab, Nationwide Children's Hospital, and the Vic Gene Fusion Group for their efforts and contributions, um, and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you again for your time.